Can a Republican candidate who is not in Trump's good graces win a Senate seat? That is a big question in the purple state of Colorado, where businessman Joe O'Day, a moderate Republican, is seeking to unseat incumbent Democratic Senator Michael Bennett. O'Day first drew Trump's ire after he said this. I don't think Donald Trump should run again. I'm going to actively, I'm going to actively campaign against Donald Trump. Adding more salt to Trump's wound, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis giving O'Day his full backing despite his bashing of Trump. This prompted the former president to issue an all-caps response on his Truth Social platform, calling it a big mistake. Joe O'Day joins me now to talk about this and much, much more. Joe, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, Trump has directly attacked you. He's called you stupid. He's called you a rhino, meaning Republican in name only. I I know it's all silliness, but... Are you worried at all that his attacks could hurt your chances of winning? You need Trump supporters to turn out to vote for you uh, through Election Day next week. Jake, I, I said what I said. I'm, I'm not worried about it. I'm, I'm worried about the next seven days. We've got one heck of a race we're running here. This race is going to be a referendum on Joe Biden and what he's done to our economy, what he's done to crime, what he's done to our border, what he's done to the price of fuel, the price of groceries. That's what people are talking about here. And Michael Bennett, he votes with him 98 percent of the time. Heck, I love my wife dearly, but I don't agree with her even 98 percent of the time. There was a point that Senator Bennett made in last week's uh, debate. Take a listen. He voted for Donald Trump twice after the children were separated from their parents at the border, after he said, Trump said that, President Trump said that there were both sides, there were good people on both sides of Charlottesville. In that same debate, you ultimately said you would vote for Trump again if he were the nominee. Did it bother you when Trump said very good people on both sides in Charlottesville? Did the family separation policy of the Trump administration, did that bother you? Well, I believe Obama started that policy, to be quite frank with you. But, you know, at the end of the day, if you look back at where our economy, if you look back where our economy was here uh, 22 months ago and some of the policies that were in place, uh, fuel was affordable. We had a great economy. I know my guys, I'm a contractor, been working uh, for 40 years and my guys wages were surging. They were making more than they'd ever made. And, and, you know, we had China kind of pushed away. So I I liked what he was doing there. Um, And I got to tell you, Joe Biden has undone every one of those policies. We got a border that uh, is leaking like a sieve right now. We got fentanyl coming straight up I-25, according to the uh, police here in in town that I've been backed by, uh, the Denver Police Union. And they're telling me that, you know, this border's leaking. And you look at the policies one after the other, and I got to tell you, uh, we're not in good shape right now, and people are ready for change. That's why I got in this race. I was really worried about where our uh, United States was headed, and and, and I'm going to win on on uh, next Tuesday. I'm I'm fired up. So let's talk about uh, immigration. You've been hammering Democrats and Senator Bennett for not doing enough to solve the border crisis. It is a crisis. Trump didn't solve it either. Uh, It seems to many observers uh, that the solution would lie in a comprehensive bipartisan immigration reform bill, something that can pass the House and the Senate, get signed by President Biden, and that would include more border security and also a way to deal with the millions of undocumented immigrants already here. Now, I've been in Washington, D.C. for a long time covering this stuff. Every time it's been attempted, House Republicans have sunk the bill every time, even if it was a Republican president like President Bush pushing it, Democratic president gets gets through the Senate, House Republicans sink it. Don't Republicans share some of the blame here? Well, all I know is that I'm going to run that bill. We're going to make sure we secure the border. We're going to add border patrol. We're going to make sure the DACA kids are taken care of. And we're going to streamline our immigration system. It's pretty simple. I'm going to put that bill in front of Uh, uh, the Senate and make sure I get 60 signatures on that bill. And then I'm going to go over to the House and I'm going to work really, really hard with House representatives to make sure we can get something done. This is a humanitarian uh, crisis of epic proportions. I was just down in Brooks, Texas here with the sheriffs down there. And those guys are exhausted. They found a hundred bodies that have passed away uh, in in the last year. And, and, And they found that two years in a row. That's something that we just can't ignore. We've got to fix this border. I have to ask you about something you said uh, on Meet the Press uh, last month to my friend Chuck Todd. Take a listen. Are you comfortable with the idea of using migrants as a political tool? Well, look, I, 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 think, uh, I think Ron DeSantis and, and, and Governor Abbott 
we're right to bring some uh, visibility to this issue. Look, I don't take any issue with wanting to bring visibility to the issue of, of the border. Sure. But I want to make sure I understand what you're saying here. Do you think it was right for them to ship off migrants under false pretenses into other parts of the country? That part of it, not just bringing attention to it, but that part of it, was that the right thing to do? Well, I know that President Biden's shipping them all over the country right now in airplanes. Nobody said a word. Every state is a border state right now. We've got a humanitarian crisis down there, the epic proportion. And, and I believe uh, Senator or uh, uh, Governor Abbott, Governor DeSantis, you know, they're trying to bring some attention to this because the failed policies of Joe Biden and Michael Bennett's right with him. Ninety eight percent of the time he has failed because he's with his president instead of stepping out and getting something done. And, and we need change. And that's why I got in this race. I want to turn to another issue of uh, particular importance to Coloradans, gun violence. It's been 10 years since the Aurora massacre, 23 since Columbine. I could go on and on with all the horrible gun acts of, uh, acts of gun violence in, in your state. It's federal law that you have to be 21 to purchase a handgun. You, unlike Senator Bennett, you do not support raising the age limit for purchasing a, a semi-automatic weapon, however, the kind uh, used in Uvalde and in other massacres. Why should an 18-year-old be able to purchase a semi-automatic weapon before he's even mature enough to buy a beer. Look, this is about crime. We don't need any more gun laws. What we need is more cops. And this is about uh, Michael Bennett and Joe Biden having the wrong priorities. Here they passed this Inflation Reduction Act, 87,000 new bureaucrats for the IRS, Instead of focusing that money on getting our border under control, focusing that money on putting more cops on the ground here, yeah. uh, Colorado had one heck of a weekend. I got to tell you, we had 12 shootings this weekend, and we lost some Coloradans. Crime's at an all-time high here. Yeah, but w why should a 19-year-old be able to buy a semi-automatic weapon when he can't even buy a beer or a handgun? That's my question. Well, he can sign up and go into our military. Um, so I just believe we don't need any more gun laws. What we need is more cops. You, I'm, I'm sure you know of all the training that uh, enlistees uh, undergo when it comes to how to use a firearm. Joe O'Day, thank you so much. Uh, really appreciate it. Uh, enjoy your last week on the, on the campaign trail. Well, thanks for having me on, Jack. I, I really appreciate it.